Greetings, YouTubers. This is Alan B. Mead. Today I'm going to show you Lubuntu Lucid Lynx 10.04 Beta 1 running on my eMachines T1100. And this is a older machine, a Celeron P3 running at 1 gigahertz. Uh, it has the Intel 810 chipset with the 810 shared video. I have 512 megabytes of RAM. Uh, it's an older machine, slower, but we want to see what it looks like under LXDE, which is what Lubuntu is, the lightweight X11 desktop environment. So, I downloaded the alternate install, but still it gives me a desktop rather than the uh, text version that I remember in the past. So, I'm going to go ahead and install this. The other alternative for older machines is the uh, Zubuntu. But I found that Zubuntu is not really lightweight. It's not really any more re responsive. In fact, it's probably less responsive than GNOME. So, that's not the case with Debian. Uh, Debian uh, XFCE is wickedly fast. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and install this. It's the standard Ubuntu install, or standard Debian install, actually. Um, Set the time. In LXDE or Lightweight X11 desktop environment is uh, it's pretty fast. But I'm going to show you that as we go along. With this video, I'm going to cut out a whole bunch of steps because this took about 45 minutes to install. It's fairly slow. It's not a comment about Ubuntu. It's more my older CD-ROM, which is a 24X. Okay, I'm going to give it the whole disk drive. I put a 40 gig disk drive on here, so it's going to use the whole thing. So now I'm going to enter my name and username and password. I'm going to name the computer. Well, not PC. Not EEPC, but my e machines. Okay. And we start the install. Okay, here we are. We're through now. As I say, I skipped some of the steps because it took about 45 minutes to install. So now we're going to restart and we're going to boot up. Again, I'm going to cut out some steps. I actually booted up pretty quickly. You see the Ubuntu 10.04. And here we are with our login, Ubuntu. And I'm going to password here. Actually, I shouldn't have needed that, but. Oh, here it is. And here's the desktop. Pretty simple. No trash can. No file folder. Just a, a empty place to work with. So now we're going to look at some programs and see what's going on here. First thing I want to do is install, record my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, Synaptic and install it. So when we get back, we'll be looking at the Lubuntu from record my desktop bit higher quality resolution okay here we are with record my desktop so we're gonna look around some uh, you see the the standard menus here that we all used to here's the file manager PC man FM uh, compared to Nautilus a uh, dolphin and conqueror is is wicked fast Here's some of the other programs here. LeafPad is the editor. Uh, here's a paint program. It doesn't have the GIMP. 
install. That'll be one of the next things I do if I were to use this as a full time desktop. For browser, it has uh, Google Chrome. And unlike other versions of Ubuntu 10.04, this comes, of course, with Google as the default browser. You give you the option of changing, but why skip? Why change it? Here's my website. Shows up pretty good. System tools. Here's the system profiler. Some system information. I get the summary here. Uh, you see my Celeron processor. Uh, it has 508 megabytes of memory available. 238 used. Resolutions in 1024 by 768 on my display. As far as the look of this, the desktop, we can change the theme. Personally, I like clear looks, so I'll stick with that. Now I want to get a little idea about how the system performs under a load. So I'm going to use the task manager, which was borrowed from FX XFCE, another lightweight desktop. So I'm going to do Google Chrome, uh, the email program, seal feed or clause under the newer versions. Uh, Abbey Word and the numeric, the spreadsheet. It doesn't have open office, but as we can see with those loaded, the memory is about half my 508 megs. CPU usage so far is reasonable. So here's a numeric spreadsheet. Uh, Abbey Word 2.81. And here's the email program. Seal feed. I never know how to pronounce that. Uh, I like it when it's called clause. And Google Chrome. Well, Aqualung is the music player. Personally, I like music players as simply as possible. Here's a monitor. You can change the uh, resolution and refresh rate. Here's the panels. Here's a logout, shutdown, calendar. Here's the volume control. My uh, Ethernet or network status. Uh, I can change the appearance of the task bar. And here's a, a, a brief look at Lubuntu, the lightweight version of Ubuntu that's coming up in April the 29th, Lubuntu 10.04, Lucid Links.